you have to set the direction, set the intent in your prayers, and then be open for God's better way, for God's higher way. In James 1, 5 through 8, and I'm using the Message Bible here, if you don't know what you're doing, pray to God. God loves to help. I love that. God loves to help. God, and that is so true. God is waiting to help you today. Now I continue. You'll get God's help, and you won't be knocked down when you ask for it. In other words, you won't be criticized by God. You, you won't be seen as weak when you ask for help. Ask boldly. Now, the reason I say that and go into that is I've had many men tell me that they don't want to pray for something like this because, after all, they're a man. They have to be strong in life. Well, you have to be effective in life, and you are a thousand million times more effective when you have God's wisdom coming through you, as you. Ask boldly believing, without a second thought. People who worry their prayers are like wind-whipped waves. Don't think you're going to get anything from the Master that way, adrift at sea, keeping all your options open. James 1, 5 through 8. So often, I have seen people pray this way. They they pray to God, but then a minute later they're ready to snatch it back and worry again about it, keeping all their options open so that they could go to this human being for advice or go this way and see this seminar or whatever. The ultimate way, and I do seminars, the, the ultimate way is go to God directly and have God's wisdom. At one time or another in the course of our lives, we all face problems that defy easy solutions. If you find yourself facing a very difficult decision, or if you find yourself in a sticky situation, here is a simple formula for making the right choice. Let God take care of it. Instead of fretting about your future, pray about it. Instead of worrying over some problem, pray about it. When you consult God early and often, so often, <laughs> the reason I put emphasis on that, we use God as a last resort. Go to God first. There are signs in my office that say those two words, God first. Don't go to God last. You can, and you'll receive help last, but why? Why go through that, that human suffering when you don't have to? When you consult God early and often, you're going to discover that the quiet moments that you spend with God can be extremely helpful. God will quietly lead you along the path of God's choosing. You might set the direction. You might set the intent. Like I prayed years ago that I could have a, a national ministry, not to, to promote Chris, but to help as many people as I could with the 30 years or so that I had left in my ministry. And the ideas that God gave me were so radically different than I could have ever thought up. That's the way God works. But if you're smart enough to follow, you will receive just countless blessings. God will lead you along a path. And the path will be exactly custom right for you. So, the next time that you arrive at one of life's crossroads, take a moment or two and pray to God and consult 
what I call the ultimate advisor. And God always knows the best solution. God always gives God's best to you and to those that leave the choice to him. The ultimate advisor is waiting to help you right now. Ask.